How to get jetpack? Installing update right now. I want a fucking jetpack, Steam. Can somebody give this man a jetpack already? Donations? Gift a pulse? Anybody? Man's dying over here. Hey! 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 Hey, peeps! It's your one and only Pyro from Cairo. Here I was riding a four hump camel until a large ass snake bit its foot and I managed to escape with my trusty thermal thrusters. Do you know the way? Yes. I ended up landing in Naven's chair back in a lovely Washington state, where I gained access to his computer. Instead of looking for any information on Half-Life 3, I decided to go on Steam discussions instead. And here's what I found. What kills the fun for you? For me it's cheaters, and the imbalanced matchmaking. Also spawn campers, and sometimes crits, and stuff like that. If you enjoyed talking fill in the blank, and talking with others, please call me daddy. So I'm not very sure what happened there at the end, but if you enjoy talking something, you gotta call me daddy. So I'm just making this clear before we get straight into this topic. But I'm actually kind of glad I found this discussion. I think many people expect that I make videos and I enjoy Team Fortress 2 all the time, no matter what. He keeps editing videos for Team Fortress 2, he plays Team Fortress 2, he must be enjoying it a lot, he must be having fun all the time. And that is actually very untrue. What many of you probably don't realize is that I'm just like many of you and I do not enjoy everything about Team Fortress 2. There is actually a lot of things that do ruin the fun within the game. So not to sound like a whiny bit, but first off, like stated, I personally hate spawn campers. Where's the fun within the game if you cannot even open the spawn doors without being blasted with a crocket? I mean, the whole point of the game is to go out there, cap the intel, push the cart, and if you cannot even open the spawn doors without being literally blown up by a crocket, then there's no fun. All it is is just one team keeping you within the spawn, trapped, and you can't do anything. So for sure, I'd say spawn campers are a major problem within the game. And that being said, I'm not specifically picking on crits, because I don't mind crits, I feel like crits are a nice addition to the game, but unbalanced teams sure ruin the fun for me personally. And I'm gonna assume unbalanced teams for many of you also ruin the game. I mean, who wants to play a game that's 12v6? As soon as we got such an unbalance, that's where the problems start to arise, such as spawn camping, people starting to screw around because it is much easier to play 12v6, well obviously they only have 6 players, we got 12, so I might as well screw around, and the whole point of the game kinda just goes away if you do really want to play the game. Apart from player numbers, skill levels are also a huge factor to unbalanced teams. If you got 12 really good players and 12 really bad players, well, that's almost as bad as 12v6. I mean, spawn camp will still happen, people might screw around, or that whole team of 12 that are really good might take the game very seriously and just finish it within 2 minutes. And there is a way to balance the teams obviously, but this cannot be detected until at least one round is over so you can actually see how well the two teams did. Moving on from unbalanced teams, I'd say the number one thing that ruins fun for a lot of people is hackers. A year ago, I would play competitive all the time. I would get together with buddies, we would be on competitive, we'd be playing a whole day. Like, it would be very fun until one game, a hacker came in and bam, like, fun's over. As soon as there is only one hacker, that's all it took to ruin the whole fun of the game. I'd say that hackers are probably my number one thing that ruin fun within TF2. If you think about it, if the hacker is a sniper and he keeps sniping you, well, you're not gonna be able to come out of spawn, so he is technically spawn camping, which is worse than in the unbalanced team scenario where you can communicate with the other team and tell them, hey, let's just actually sort something out and play the game the right way, as here, you're probably not gonna be able to do that. But, last but not least, so I don't complain too much, a server full of pyros. And I'm assuming a lot of people just got triggered, but moving on, Pyros do ruin the fun for me within TF2, I'm just gonna be simple as that. I won't elaborate too much on this because I have in the previous videos, but there's really no fun for a lot of classes if there's a server full of Pyros. You cannot play Spy, even playing Sniper is hard. Naben, please. And let's not forget, let's say you're just a soldier trying to shoot some rockets. Well, if you got a server basically full of pyros, they're most likely gonna air blast them back. But in summary, I'd say the hackers probably ruin the fun the most within TF2 for me. Getting kicked for having fun? 
Hey, uh, I was getting kicked for having fun. I don't know if they were tryharding, but he tried to kick me more than four times, but it failed. I really get fill in the blank, so I tried to kick him, but it failed. I left because my computer is broken really bad. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, dude. I mean, there's nothing much you can probably do at this point. If you ever find yourself within this scenario, just find a better server to play on. Why stay on a server where where you're not having fun? You might as well find a server with the right people where you can do whatever you want and they're fine with it. But this brings me to my sad MVM story and I think many of you can relate to this. So one time I joined this MVM server, Wave 1, and off the bat I did not get along with the guys. And I did not know that in fact they were actually all in one party. They kinda all acted as if they were there separately. And it didn't seem that everyone got along very well. We weren't even actually doing that bad, like occasionally we would fail a wave and then that's where the beef would begin. But we were actually like going at it, like wave by wave, and then like I said occasionally we would fail a wave and then beef would begin. And I really got pissed off when they really started picking on me. And it seemed very weird because I was doing everything right. And it was kind of like one by one that they were picking on me. And that's when I thought, what am I doing wrong that they're getting pissed at me for? So yeah, the six of us didn't really get along. So we kept playing until some heated words started coming out of everybody's mouths. And especially one dude's. And then I actually tried kicking him. But then instantly, everybody voted no. So I was actually very confused at that point. Anyway, I kept my cool and we just kept playing until we reached wave 6 and that's when I was in for a little bit of a surprise. At that point, everybody hopped onto their mics and basically said, Bitch, don't mess with us and I was off the server. So yeah, then I realized they were all in a party and they just kicked me off. So I put in all of that effort into playing the 6 waves until the very last wave and got kicked off for basically doing nothing but talking back when I was doing everything right. So yeah, you're always gonna find yourself in those very weird scenarios within this wonderful community of ours. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I hope we could somewhat relate and if we did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share this video with your uncle who plays Overwatch all day. I'll see you next time. Bye peeps, have a nice day.